Hey guys, welcome back to Rated RPG, your number one channel for gaming news. I want to thank you all for tuning in tonight and just continuing to help us build this channel, gain more subscribers, gain more views, because everything you do helps us and we are just so happy to have the support. And I am happy to be here trying to bring you every bit of scrap of gaming news I can in a timely manner. So thank you for tuning in. Now, if you like what you hear, please be sure to like and subscribe. What we're here to talk about this evening is CD Projekt Red and some new information concerning Cyberpunk 2077. We have been just digging and begging for any information on Cyberpunk 2077, and we've taken everything we can get so far. Uh, we all remember the original launch uh, announcement trailer back in the day with its just beautiful atmosphere and then we went a long long dry spell without hearing anything then finally we heard the beep we got all the announcements at E3 we had the whole sifted controversy we finally were able to see the uh, uh, demo gameplay when CD Red released it on their own terms. And then a couple months ago, we heard about us. And then not long ago, we heard about CA. And then not long ago, we heard about one of the creative directors over at CD Red on the Cyberpunk team, Sebastian Steffen, leaving the team to go work at Blizzard. First off, I find it surprising that anyone's finding job at Blizzard, considering everything going on over there. I honestly have no idea why someone would want to work on at Blizzard, but hey, this guy worked on Cyberpunk, he worked on The Witcher 3, so if he's bringing a little bit of that uh, CD Red magic into whatever it is Blizzard's working on, maybe Diablo 4, who knows, hey, Maybe he can do a good job over there and get some common sense into, into Blizzard. But right now, his open position has finally been filled by a man by the name of Konrad Tomaskovitz. I apologize if I mispronounce that in any way. Tomaskovitz, he worked also as one of the creative directors on The Witcher 3. And Witcher 3, as you've heard from me before, if you've watched many of my videos, you know how much I love that game. It is a masterpiece. It is pretty much my only platinum trophy. So I've invested the time. And so I'm just happy to see that CD Red is consistently keeping people with experienced leadership with a quality product in charge of Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is, of course, going to be a much bigger, much different beast than The Witcher 3. But I am so hopeful for it. I am so, just anticipating so much. We heard uh, not long ago that they are going to be putting in an appearance at E3. I mean, everybody pretty much knew that, but it's still just nice to hear that confirmation. So we are all looking forward to what they're going to be doing there. And I just want to congratulate Tomaskovitz on his promotion to... Uh, his role is Vice President of Game Development and Design Director for Cyberpunk 2077. At this point, I would hope that a lot of the design direction is done on Cyberpunk, but if it's coming out later than a lot of us have assumed, then he may still have work to do. Regardless, let's just let him do his job and just keep putting our trust and our faith in CD Red because they have yet to, to really do anything to make us lose that faith. So thank you, CD Red. Thank you for talk to Moskovats for uh, getting in on the job, take doing what you need to do. So take all the time you need to put out a quality product, and we will appreciate it. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. This has been kind of just a little update on CD Red, something you see a lot of this on this channel probably. But regardless, I want to thank you all for tuning in, for watching the channel, liking and subscribing. Be sure to subscribe to the channel even if you don't like what you hear. Thank you very much. Have a good night, y'all. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please 
like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get all the latest gaming news from Rated RPG.